nature has been developing ingenious ways to uh, solve uh, the problems of life. We can use uh, the knowledge that she has obtained to make, for example, artificial muscles and various other uh, types of applications. The muscles in our body contract in order to do work. Muscles, for example, in the uh, limbs of an octopus contract as a result of this contraction, they provide a rotation. Likewise, the muscles in the trunk of an elephant are helically wound so that when these muscles contract, the trunk of the elephant rotates. Now, we've developed, using nanotechnology, artificial muscles that can rotate a thousand times greater degree per length than the muscles found in an octopus or an elephant's trunk. These muscles are based on yarns of carbon nanotubes. A carbon nanotube is a little cylinder of carbon that can be one ten thousandth the diameter of a human hair. Our carbon nanotube yarns, again, are helical. When we apply this voltage between the carbon nanotube yarn and a counter electrode, we inject electrons into our carbon nanotube yarn. And this increase in volume provides a pressure which causes the carbon nanotube muscles to rotate. We're developing these muscles that could be used in the clothing of the infirm to help amplify feeble muscle efforts to provide useful tasks. The uh, Army is interested in our using our carbon nanotube artificial muscles for use in exoskeletons that a soldier can wear, for example, so that he can perform superhuman feats. We can look at what nature does, look at what we can do with our technologies, and try to merge them together to produce a result that is sometimes even better than nature can do.